Everybody's welcome. Cornelius was an officer in the Roman army. He lived in a place called Caesarea. He and his family respected God. They weren't Jewish, they were Gentiles. Cornelius had a vision. An angel told him, God hears your prayers and knows that you help the poor. Send men to Joppa to bring Peter here. So Cornelius did. In day, Peter was on the roof praying. In a vision, a huge sheet came from heaven. It was filled with animals. A voice said, Kill something, Peter. Eat! They were animals that Jews weren't allowed to eat. I can't eat them, Peter replied. If I say they're all right to eat, the voice replied, then they're all right. <laughs> That's when Cornelius' messengers arrived. So Peter and some others went with them to Caesarea. Cornelius' house was filled with his friends and family, eager to hear Peter speak. God showed me, in a vision, that he accepts people from every nation. God sent Jesus to everyone. He is Lord of all. He healed the sick and freed the oppressed. He was crucified and then raised from the dead. Everyone who believes in him will be forgiven of their sins. The Holy Spirit came upon them, just like Pentecost. Peter baptized them. Journeys for Jesus Paul believed that God wanted him to tell Gentiles about Jesus. So he made three trips through Syria, Turkey, and Greece. Many people believed in Jesus, and many churches were started.
returned to Jerusalem. Some people were upset by his teaching and attacked him. He was unfairly arrested. Since Paul was a Roman citizen, he asked for his trial to be in Rome. put on a boat headed for Rome. The trip was slow. Let's wait in Crete until the stormy season is over, Paul suggested. The captain sailed ahead anyway. Everyone thought they would die. An angel told Paul that they would all be saved and he would get to Rome. Paul told the others. Sailors planned to abandon ship and let the others die. Paul warned, you will survive only if everyone stays aboard. The boat crashed on an island called Malta. punished if the prisoners escaped, so they decided to kill them. But their commander liked Paul, so he ordered his men to let them live. staggered ashore. Just as Paul had said, everyone was alive. The ruler of Malta let them stay with him. His father was sick. When Paul prayed for him, God healed him. another ship and went to Rome, where Paul was chained in a house. While there, he wrote letters to teach the new churches around the world. His letters are now included in the Bible. Hmm. 
a forever promise. John was a disciple of Jesus. One day, Jesus came to him in a vision, shining like the sun. Don't be afraid, said Jesus. I died. Now I live forever. Then, John's a new heaven and a new earth, God's promised new creation. The first heaven and the first earth were gone, and the sea with them. Next city, the New Jerusalem. It was coming down from heaven. It was beautiful, like a bride on her wedding day, ready to meet her husband. <gasps> then, John heard a loud voice coming from the throne of God, saying, from now on, God will make his home among his people, and they will all live together. In this new heaven and new earth, there won't be any tears, because no one will be in pain, and no one will die. Those things are gone forever. <laughs> then the voice from the throne said, I am the beginning and the end. If you are thirsty, come to me, and I will give you the water of life. My new world is for my children, those who are faithful to me. I'm making all things new. It's true. You can count on it. <gasps> God's Good News In the beginning, God made everything. He made it perfect. He made us too in His image. He loves us and wants to have a relationship with us. Sadly, Adam and Eve disobeyed God. That sin brought death into the world and broke our relationship with God. It also broke God's perfect world. Sin spread throughout the whole world. Everyone sins, and the result of sin is death. But sin couldn't stop God from loving us. He had a plan.
Because of His love for us, God sent His Son, Jesus, into the world. Sin broke our relationship with God, but Jesus came to fix it. Jesus healed sick people and performed many other miracles. He welcomed lonely people. He taught people about God's love. His perfect life shows us what love looks like. Even though Jesus never sinned, He died on a cross for our sins because He loves us. By doing this, He was carrying out God's plan to fix our relationship with Him. Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead, breaking the power of sin and death. He spent time with his followers, teaching them. Then he returned to heaven. Now Jesus lives forever. He sent His Holy Spirit to live inside everyone who trusts Him. The Spirit gives us power to live the way God created us to live. <laughs> One day, when Jesus returns, God will make everything perfect again. He will make a new heaven and a new earth. Everyone who trusts in Jesus will live with Him forever. God loves you. He created you one of a kind. Trusting and following Jesus fixes our broken relationship with God. Are you ready to be a part of God's story? Hehehe <laughs>